on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mrs. Stem Gamer. Today we're going to get this field ready. Uh, you can see there's some small weeds on here, but first we're going to plough. That should take up the weeds. Um, so let's check this out now. Let's get our stuff started. Now I have created a video on how to get the best yield out of your fields, yield of fields. Um, check that out. Goes through the whole process. Um, I will go through the process, of course, again with you now. Right, we need the plough. The plough is back here. Now I do have periodic ploughing on. If you do not have periodic ploughing on, your job now would be to cultivate that field. But because I have periodic ploughing on, and uh, this state, we need to plough. Again, I'll just show you, field information needs ploughing. If you don't follow these um, suggestions, your yield bonus will be affected. And that um, really, really does have an impact. Oops. That has an impact on your, um, what, how many crops you get. Oh, I haven't done a very good job here. Apologies, everyone. Let's reverse back. Start that again, shall we? Okay, here we go. Let's go. Again, just the top tip, make sure you do not press triangle, which is allow create fields. Whoops. We do not want, we do not want um, at any point for us to be adding to this field. I'll show you that another day. I missed another bit there. I'm just going to let a worker complete this because I am talking and doing this at the same time. It's not working for me. <laughs> Now we can see stones have come up again. Let's grab this bad boy here, the stone picker. Now, as we know, the stone picker um, does take a little bit of time. So we're going to get him started now. I'm going to leave the baler underneath the tree. I've got everything lined up so it's really easy for us to see the equipment but it would be a good idea to get a shed okay here we go let's get this over here so we're going to unfold the stone pickup get ourselves lined up as best we can. Gonna need to go back a little bit. There we go. Okay, lower and turn her on. Off we go. Okay, next job, we're going to put the seed in the ground. Um, good question, what seed are we going to put in here? I think it would be quite interesting to put down uh, some canola and then we could put down beehives so I can show you the beehives in action with the yield bonus. So let's grab the cedar now. Switch and select the seeds. Let's change to canola. And I'm just going to queue it up here. We'll, uh, we'll bump into everything if we carry on at the pace we are, like these are now. They've properly bumped into each other. Oh, it could fit through there. 
I will do it instead. There we go. Excellent. Go, 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 go. Um, I need to let them get a few rows ahead of each other, really. So we'll just let him turn around. So we've got 66,000 in the bank account. Now, to make any next big moves, we are going to want more money. So we've got a couple of options. Um, I'm going to talk you through them in the help section. So what farmer do you want to be? Now, it, this doesn't mean that you, you can't be all three, uh, but you've got the agriculture, the animal, um, and the forestry. Classic agricultural is the heart of farming simulator. Um, so that if we want to do that, we're going to need bigger fields. We're not going to make mega bucks work in these fields we have. On the animal side, um, this is where it can get quite interesting. And I'm going to explore this with you as we go into the different guides. You've got sheep, cows, pigs. You've got bees, which we're going to do in this episode here. Um, there's just so much available to you. Okay, right. Let me get down to here. You are blocked. Of course you are. Everything needs to be well out of the way for um, the stone picker. This particular stone picker anyway. Um, so, let's put down, whilst we're waiting for these guys to do their thing, let's put down some bees. Now, I think the bees would be really good over here. Um, so, you go to, and you can get to, um, we want to go to the construction section. So, again, our uh, L1 and the big pad on the PlayStation. And what we're going to do, go to animals, bees, and first things first, we need to put down a honey pallet. You can only have one honey pallet per, um, uh, per farm. Now, again, I used a toggle free mode. It says it's uh, colliding. It's not. But you can have as many beehives as you like per farm. Now, this one's pretty big. It's 12,500. Um, I'm just going to go for the little one here, 1,100. We're just going to get started with our beehives. And we're going to place it right there. Um, so, the bees are going to pollinate our canola, which is going to give us a higher yield bonus. And their honey, which they produce, will fit into this little area here. Now, there are mods available where you can have 20, 12, 24, 32 pallets. So as you build your, um, your hive, you're going to want more space for more pallets. Otherwise, you're going to have to keep on going back every five minutes. Now, honey sells at quite a good price. If you go and have a very quick look in... Um, in prices scroll all the way down there we go honey as you can see 2700 2800 and price fluctuations it can go as high as 3360 in March so it's a really it's a great thing to have on your farm now it looks like we've got a little bit of space going on here so let's get the canola going into the ground. So again, lower and turn on. Make sure you've got the seed that you want. Now I missed a little bit there, so that won't seed as i mentioned to you there are direct drills available where you wouldn't need to plow or cultivate so 
So, of course, with me hiring workers, this does cost. You get charged, I believe, by the hour. I'll get this going. And you can see under the finances, um, all of your charges, where your money is going. So you can see wage payments. Last month in August, I spent 1,800. And this month already, I've spent 3,600. Uh, th sorry, 3,000, 364 pounds. But it shows us where we are. If we're making money or we're losing money. At the moment, we're making money because we sold that silo. Um, and that will come up under sold buildings. Can you see that there? 58,000. But we also spent 46,000 on the construction cost. Um, vehicle leasing. I've got quite a few things on lease right now, and that's costing me 5,824 so far this month. So it's a lot to take into consideration. So the ploughing is going nicely. Once the ploughing is completed, we'll go and attach the, um, the sprayer for the lime. Now the cedar is going to clash now. Yep. Cedar is clashing, so let's move the cedar out of the way. It's at least started. I'm going to drive this for a little bit. <laughs> get out of his way completely oh now we got a new clash it was bound to happen at some point there we go Keeping everyone happy, we're getting the job done. Lime roll fertilize. That's our next jobs. We just gotta wait for them all to get to the next stage. What I'll do is I'll get all this finished. You've seen me do this already. Um, we'll get this all finished and I'll bring you back in once we're in the next spot. See you soon. Done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the stones. We're going to place them into our silo. We can turn that into lime eventually. Now, if you look at my video on how to produce lime, that will give you all the information you need. Um, but we will come to that in the beginner's guide eventually. Now, next job is... liming after that we're going to do the rolling so we'll get them queued up and ready to go the seeding only has one more strip let's get going hopefully I didn't miss too much I'll come and finish that in a minute Let's get the cedar out of the way. Fantastic, all done. Then we'll attach the fertilizer. And then that is the job after the rolling.
whoopsie thought I'd fit through there perfectly fine and now I've just moved that all around there we go let's push it back and attach come on you know you want to there we go excellent right let's start the rolling let's unfold the roller there we go get ourselves in position and start that roll okay go and off he goes nice quick and easy last pass with the lime and then we will wait until the roll is completed and we'll do the fertilizer interesting choice there I'm gonna move it over now this one unfortunately you don't have the ability to change the width of the spray so you do lose quite a bit when you um, use this particular sprayer just spray that little bit there this tiny little bit here and then we're done leave the roller to do its thing and we'll jump in the fertilizer So we can get fertilizing whilst it's doing that one pass. This again, we should be able to complete this in one fell swoop. We'll just wait for him to turn around so then we don't clash. We'll lower the spreader. There we go. And let's get started. done minus that tiny little bit there which I'm gonna have to get there we go okay as soon as this is done we're going to skip on to the next month and we're going to fertilize it again it's only a tiny tiny bit that needs rolling now I'm just going to jump in and do it myself. Spin around. I don't want to clash into that trailer. Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring at the same time. I promise it's not me. <laughs> okay, there we go. Get this folded. Ooh, nope, we didn't make it. <laughs> okay, let's go and sleep. Go into the next month. Okay, we're into the next month and this now needs to be fertilized again so let's get that job done really quickly
and there we go field is completed canola is in the ground it's still saying 98 percent um i'm hoping that the bees are close enough to bring that yield bonus up not quite sure um let's get another one This should be close enough. Well, I at least hope so. I'll put one over here just to be sure. Yeah, yield bonus is still saying 98%. Maybe it just takes a little bit of time. I'm going to sell that one. Select, sell. Lost a bit of money there, but that's fine. <coughs> Excuse me for the coffee. Okay, so that's that episode done. I hope you found it useful. Um, as I say, there is quite a lot to do next. Next thing is how are we going to make more money? Well, best way to make money is at this level to get some contracts let's go help other farmers we also the grass is also ready to harvest if we wanted to do that it can grow a little bit more than this i believe um but again this is something that we can get done um we can either bale the grass and keep it for sheep or sell it we can tether it and um, dr which dries it and that would end up being uh, hay or we can cut it bale the grass and wrap let it ferment into silage plenty of different options not sure what we're going to do yet there's not that much grass here to invest in silage but we could cut the meadow grass as well so there's lots to think about um, but I'll see you in the next episode. I really do help, hope these videos are helping you. If they are, please hit that thumbs up. Um, and thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very much. Bye for now.